Go ahead, Rich. Good morning, Parker. How are you today? I'm doing good. Parker, about how much of the offense have we seen so far? Have the fans, have the media seen so far? Well, I would say he's seen a pretty good amount. Uh, Coach Yersis does a good job. Um, we're may, uh, trying to be as versatile as possible. And I think y'all seen a, a nice little bit of it. And I think more will come in the future. Donnie Collins, followed by Tyler Donahue. Go ahead, Donnie. Parker, are you guys happy with the amount of big plays you've been able to make in the first two games and the rate you've been able to make them? And, and, and how, how do you guys go about, as you move forward, learning the offense, may, being able to, to connect on more of those? No doubt. No, I feel like our connection is coming along well. We had, um, especially through fall camp, it helped us. And I think we're doing a pretty good job right now uh, making plays. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we left a little bit of points on the board, but – like you said, you just come back each week, get better, and we're just ready to go one and know. Tyler Donahue, Justin Morgenstein, you're on deck. Go ahead, Tyler. Good morning, Parker. Thanks for your time. Um, a guy that you've had a close look at during the last few months is Marquise Wilson. Can you tell us kind of where he was when he got to the wide receiver group versus where he was when he actually got on the field and called a pass? Oh, no doubt. You see, with Marquise, you just see that he's very a very great playmaker. and. Um, he just came to work every day and he had to learn uh, offense, really the schemes that we had, especially it was new to all of us. So once he just got that down, it's just excited to see him come out there and make plays. And he's been doing a great job so far. Justin Morgenstein, Tobias Wilborn, you're on deck. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Parker, uh, first word out for you this weekend. You know, what have you been told by your teammates and, you know, what are you expecting of the atmosphere on Saturday? You know, I'm just excited. Uh, I know it's a big thing here at Penn State. I mean, it's really what we most players talk about and what we want to come here for. And we don't want to make it, like Coach Frank said, we don't want to make it bigger than what it is. We just want to go one and know this week, just be our best selves each day and just do what we can. Nabias Wilborn, Joe Giuliano, you're on deck. Go ahead, Nabias. Hey, Parker, man. Thanks for doing this as always, brother. Hope you're doing well. Um, what have you seen with Jesse Lucata that makes him such a unique athlete being able to go back and forth playing positions i would say first of all he could jump out the gym he, he's a great athlete and as besides that most importantly he's a great leader on and off the field and he pushes me and my other teammates all every day and i think that brings the best out of us in our in our team joe giuliano rich scarcella you're on deck good morning parker the uh offense uh seems to be you never know what to expect from the offense with the versatility you guys show in different formations what is it like for a player to uh you know be able to play uh, all those roles uh and, and all those formations uh to get the offense going like it's just it's definitely exciting and because you don't you don't know what to expect and and i'm glad to be a part of this and it's just fun and like i said it's just i feel like there's a lot of opportunities to make plays and with that versatility it just makes it fun Rich Garcella, Donnie Collins, you're on deck. Go ahead, Rich. Parker, what do you expect to be the greatest challenge from the Auburn secondary? I just know, I just know there's a physical group. I know they're going to play fast. And just like every other team, they're, they're going to want to win just like us. So I know it'll be a tough game. We just got to execute and uh, be as sharp as possible. Donnie Collins, Nate Bauer, you're on deck. Go ahead, Donnie. Parker, I'm, I'm sure there's a knock on wood element to this for you guys, but you, you've, you've been able to kind of avoid the turnovers on offense that, 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 that plagued you guys a little bit last year. How, what's been the key to that, and how much work did, did the whole offense have to put into to kind of reducing that? Uh, just like every day, it's, it, we starts with that one and all mentality. And um, every practice we come in, we, we focus on ball security. We do drills on that every day, and we just lock into that focus when we, we when we approach that and we just make sure to make sure everybody's on the same page with that and we all just focus up make sure our boss security is always on point nate bauer and Tobias wilborn you're on deck go ahead nate parker obviously it's early in the season but auburn's been one of the higher scoring teams in the country uh the last couple of weeks are you guys preparing for a different style of game, uh, you know, and offensively, what kind of mindset does that mean you guys have to have in terms of, uh, you know, putting points on the board? 
Yes, sir. I just, uh, I feel like we're just, we're just coming out with our aggressive mindset, like each week, you know, we don't want to make it bigger than what it is. Like uh, to the point coach Franklin made uh, last practice, we just come out every day, one and all mentality, just be our offense and do the best we can to make each play and execute. Nobias Wilborn, Tyler Donahue, you're on deck. Go ahead, Nobias. Um, I know obviously the record very different from this point last year, but Besides that, it seems like you guys are having more fun overall. When you talk to us, when you're doing the things, what is different so far? Just how close we are as a team. I feel like we did have this last year, and um, I feel like it plays a big role in how we play, especially with our defense. And you see how close they are. That pushes us off our offense, offense and to make plays like them. And it is exciting to see this. And it's way different from last year, no doubt. Tyler Donahue, Joseph Giuliano, you're on deck. Go ahead, Tyler. Yeah, we got our first look at Harrison Wallace getting some game reps last Saturday. Can you kind of give us a, a progress report on him and Liam Clifford, how they're coming along as true freshmen? Their, their development has been crazy, and you can see it, and you can tell that when they, whenever they start to get reps and whenever they're going, they're going to be great, and I'm excited for their future here, and I know they'll make big plays. Joe Giuliano, David Eckert, you're on deck. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, Parker, last year you came as a freshman, had to learn one offense, and then now you've had to learn an, another off offense in the offseason. What has the comfort level been like for you, and, and how confident have you grown in, th in this offense? I feel like the, <clears throat> the confidence is very high. Um, our coaches help us prepare very well, and I feel like uh, with that preparation, it just makes you comfortable and you're just excited to make plays, and, and I feel like that shows, and we're excited for this uh, game this week for sure. David Eckert, Rich Garcella, you're on deck. Go ahead, David. Hey, Parker. Um, I want to just go back to something you said earlier about, you know, the, the versatility of the offense being fun for you. So I, I guess from just a wide receiver's perspective, uh, as best you can, I, can you explain why that's fun? What, what about being able to do a lot of different things on the field that is fun for you? It's just, um, I feel like when you, when you have a lot of options, it, it just, it just makes it fun for sure. And, um, just be able to see how we can throw deep passes. We just have to connect more, but you see how there's different ways we can score, not just uh, one option, I would say. So then we do a lot of different uh, type of plays. So I'm just excited to see that. And that's just fun for me every week. Rich Carcella, Donnie Collins, you're on deck. Go ahead, Rich. Parker, following David's question, um, 10 different receivers caught passes last week. Did, is that been a was that a point of emphasis from Coach Yersich from the beginning, spreading the ball around it, and what can that do to help you? I would say uh, just with the offense we have, it's just like I said, it's exciting, and <clears throat> we we don't uh, come in each week just expecting one receiver. We say that we need our receivers fresh or or and our tight ends fresh, and be able to rotate. And different guys are going to have to make plays every week, so. That's kind of how we look at it each week. Donnie Collins, Tobias Wilborn, you're on deck. Go ahead, Donnie. Parker, is that is the pace you guys are playing? That does, does that kind of breed this this mentality? You have to kind of spread the ball around, and 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 how how long did it take you guys to kind of get used to the pace that Coach Herrick just wants to play? We just uh, each week we just know that um, we have to uh, make plays and just play fast, and most importantly, start fast. And that kind of plays in a role with uh, how we prepare and they get us ready each week. And like I said, it's just exciting to see it each week. Demias Wilborn, go ahead. Obviously, you grew up in Texas and you have relatives who played in the SEC. Um, what does this week mean to you, man? Uh, uh, as personally, I always uh, just, you know, uh, growing up in the South, you kind of think you want to play in the SEC. So I kind of, I'm just excited to play a uh, SEC team for the first time and I'm just ready to embrace this moment. I'm, I'm ready. Elton Hayes, go ahead. Hey Parker, hope you're having a good morning. Um, Keandre Lambert Smith is a guy who's got four catches for 71 yards this year, fitting in nicely again this season to the offense. Um, what's it been like watching him develop this year and what are some ways that you've seen him kind of improve in year two? Uh, he comes out, he comes out of practice and each day and works and it shows and I'm excited for him and 
is one of uh, one of my closest friends right now, and I can't wait to see what he does. And his development is just crazy. And I know he'll make plays whenever he gets the opportunity to. Still have some time here with Parker. If anybody has any additional questions, please use the raise hand feature. I'll ask you to unmute and you can ask Parker your question. Go ahead, Tyler. Mark Murphy, you're on deck. Parker, can you describe just what it's like to go into onto the field with someone like Jahan Dotson, who at this point in his career seems like he can legitimately change the game on any play? And how how is his presence opening things up for the rest of you guys? Uh, no doubt. Just, uh, just playing alongside with Jahan, it's, it's just big. And he pushes us every day. And then you see him make plays that pushes us receivers uh, to want to make plays as well. And he just brings fire to the offense, like you said. And like I said, it, his presence is big, and I'm excited for him each day. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, do the players enjoy playing games like this against a team from another part of the country that rarely ever meet each other? Uh, no doubt. And but I, I, like I said, I like the I like Coach Franklin's point from uh, last practice. We just got a, a one and on mentality, not make it bigger than what it is. But it definitely is exciting to play this game, and I'm excited for my first YL game as well. Final call for any additional questions for Parker. Elton Hayes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Parker, go on, speak about Auburn. Um, their secondary is pretty solid this year, as I'm sure you've seen on film. What are some things that kind of jump out to you about that um, Auburn secondary in the film that you've watched? I don't know that. I'd just say, like I thought, they're physical and they're fast, and they're going to uh, pursue to the ball every play. And um, I feel like we're ready for that, and I'm excited for, for us this week for them. All right. Well, Parker, appreciate the time. Thanks for hopping on with us, and uh, good luck against Auburn.